What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I've got my watch here. Uh, I've been wearing this around worth this weekend and kind of decided I wanted to get a new band for it. And so I have this band. So I want to do two things. One, I want to show you what this watch, the Spinnaker SP49er, looks like with a new band. Uh, tell you why I did it. And then actually do it on camera here so that you can see how it's done and do it yourself if you want to do that. Now, first of all, this... Uh, Spinnaker watch is awesome. SP 49er, limited edition, limited to 250 pieces. Um, I can't believe that there are still some at spinnaker-watches.com. I think that there are only single digits left. So if you want it, go there, uh, go to Spinnaker, pick this up, 250 pieces. Uh, it's a $340 watch, which I think it is worth every penny of, but use my code PVP30, PVP30, and get 30% off of that watch. I think it'll still work, so um, use that code. But man, it's just a good looking watch. I was wearing it this weekend, got a couple of compliments on it. So, you know, it's, it's in no way a, oh, a shrinking violet type of watch. It's bold. Uh, I have it here in blue. I think it's the best color combo. It comes with this silicone blue band. And this band is just a little bit bright. It's pretty comfortable. I had no problems with it. But the other thing that I noticed is because it's a curved band, I'll just kind of throw it on here for a second, is that it doesn't hug my wrist quite as tightly as I'd like. It's not bad. In no way is it bad. Seven and a half inch wrist, but I can see a little daylight. Kind of wanted just to maybe a little uh, a little closer tighter fit and I thought you know replacing the band with a traditional band might do that so right there Spinnaker 49er limited edition definitely check it out it's love it love it love it all right so I went on Amazon picked up this watch band it's from Panatime and uh, comes with a little index or a little business card here thank you for choosing Panatime and the watch band is kind of like I think it's like a PU or a you know, it kind of has this texture, but it's like a rubber, like a synthetic. I mean, it's almost like a rubber neoprene or something like that. Um, pretty soft, but, you know, it's a couple millimeters thick. It does have this blue stitching. Uh, in terms of the blue matching the dial, it's more of that that kind of uh, light blue, that um, aquamarine color there. And so I thought, you know, that should kind of tie in a little bit there. You know, it wasn't... There wasn't a real obvious choice in getting black with kind of the navy blue, but I thought it'd be pretty nice. Now, I do believe this is a 24 millimeter band, I think. And so hopefully I got it in the right size. Comes, it's a, it's a two piece strap squared off and doesn't taper, right? So I think it's a good looking band. And again, this kind of artificial, you know, net kind of fabric and texture, I think goes well with the style of this watch being a sport watch. And then you have what's more of like a polished type of buckle than the 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 brushed finished buckle. Now I don't know if these are actually the same size. Uh, looks like looks like this tapers down to like 21 millimeters or something like that. So I don't think the buckle will be a trans transferable buckle here. It's not the right size. So we'll leave this buckle on there. But otherwise it's usually just a spring bar holding that on too. Now what you will need is a spring bar removal tool, just like this. Uh, some of them are really short. This one's a little bit longer. It has a punch for pushing out links on the end, little forked edge here. And then what's nice about the Spinnaker is that they have some cutouts, some relief cuts on the band. Uh, so you can get your tool in there to get the spring bar out. So I'm just gonna put it in there. There's some notches on the spring bar and then you just kind of pry it down and compress that spring bar and there it comes out. I can pull that out and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side here get it in there and then boom all right so I have those out I'm gonna to have to reuse the spring bars and you can see here the nice thing about these silicone bands is that they're curved they fit the case here and then uh, you know they're just spring bars so and take these spring bars out uh, this band is looks like the bottom is gonna be indicated by the overlapped uh, piece of material right there. On this side, it's gonna be a kind of a clean finish. So put the spring bar in there. And then on this one, obviously, this is the top with the, the buckle and then push the spring bar in there. Now, this always goes up at the top with the buckle. So what I do here is after I get the spring bar in, I feed it into the hole on the bottom here 
And then what you have to do is usually, again, use your tool, put it on the spring bar there, and then compress it down so that you can get it under the lug, and then fit it in there, and then you'll feel it kind of pop into place. So that's in there, all right. And then this side, again, this side down, same deal. I'm gonna feed that bottom part into the, the notch there. Use the spring bar tool, compress the spring bar, and get it under the lug. Oops, popped out. One more time. And there, got it in. All right, so there it is. There's the finished product. Um, I think it definitely changes the look quite a bit and kind of retains that, that sportiness. Now, um, I don't know that I'm a big fan of this kind of neon uh, or this kind of light blue, almost kind of a baby blue. It does tie to this piece right there, but um, I'd rather, you know, this blue here is so much more bold. Uh, I think I'd rather have like the navy blue stitching or maybe just going with a black band. Some of these things you can't really tell until you you get it done. Now this band was about 25 bucks. Picked it up on Amazon. Uh, feels pretty nice. Get that other strap up here. And even though it's not broken in, it starts fitting my wrist pretty nicely. But kind of wears a lot more like a regular watch. It's not quite as bold with the, you know, the, the blue silicone band, which is, tends to be a very bright blue, as you can see here, right? Which, which I also like, and kind of in a watch like this, it's kind of cool to have that, but um, this makes it a little more wearable. It'll probably conform to my wrist a little bit more as I wear it and break in the band. But man, now it kind of looks very much like a normal diver's watch. And I think it looks great. So there it is. My Spinnaker SP49er limited edition watch with a new band on it. Peter Von Panda. Out.